Now, didn't I tell y'all that this was the year of the reckoning? Didn't I tell y'all this was going to be the year that a lot of people were going to be getting exposed? Now, we already knew that Diddy was in the hot seat and that Diddy was already kind of being exposed. But we thought that the Cassie of it all was the end, right? We know that in November of 2023, Cassie came out and said, look, this is what Diddy has been doing to me the last decade or whatever, allegedly. And what happened? Diddy gave her $30 million. Shut up. Go live your life. Don't talk about this no more. And that's what happened. And he thought it was all peaches and cream. But no. What happened was that opened up the floodgates. That opened up the floodgates for the people that were scared of Diddy and his power and what he could do to speak up. That opened up the floodgates for people to say, well, Cassie shared her story. I'm going to the police and I'm going to share mine. And what happened? Fast forward now, four months later, the feds have raided Diddy's homes. Plural, homes. They didn't just raid his home. They raided his homes his home in Miami, and his home in L.A., and they raided it on allegations of sex, T-R-A-F-F-I-C-K-I-N-G. I can't say that word on YouTube. It will trigger, but y'all know where I'm getting at. He's being accused of some Harvey Weinstein, Jeffrey Epstein, Bill Cosby type shit. You better believe we're going to talk about it. Welcome back to Damien After Dark. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, please click that subscribe button and like this video to help me get into the algorithm so more beautiful people like yourself can find me here. Also, get into the comment section before you leave this video and let me know what you think about the feds rating Diddy's homes and last but not least if you want to support the damien after dark movement in the description box below will be ways that you can donate using paypal cash app venmo and zelle i'll also post my amazon wish list down there for anyone that chooses to take that route thank you guys for the love and support donations likes comments subscribes all that i appreciate all the love okay i i feel it i feel it Well, let's talk about it. Let's read this report from TMZ. They say TMZ has the first video. Oh, I'm sorry. Wrong. Not TMZ. Of Diddy. Um, I mean, from CNN. Sorry, I can't talk today. Not from TMZ, but CNN. Let's look at this um, report from CNN that says Sean Diddy Combs is target of investigation carried out by Homeland Security team that specializes in human tra that word okay um and it says homes belonging to Sean Diddy Combs were searched by authorities Monday because he is a target of a federal investigation carried out by Department of Homeland Security team that handles human crimes. According to a senior federal law enforcement official briefed on the investigation, the probe is being led by U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York and carried out by the Department of Homeland Security Investigations Transnational Organized Crime Division, a official told CNN. Now, the investigation stems from many of the same allegations put forth by several civil lawsuits filed in New York against Combs with allegations of S.A. Y'all know what that is. If you don't know, put it together. S.A including one filed in December in federal court that also included allegations of tra sex tra According to a second law enforcement officer familiar with Monday's searches, now Combs has previously denied these allegations. However, heavily armed teams of Homeland Security agents searched Combs' home in Los Angeles and Miami areas 
on Monday, some riding in armored vehicles because in part, authorities believed that Combs employs armed private security at each of his residences, the first source said. Agents were authorized to search for documents, phones, and computers and other electronic devices that hold data or videos, the second law enforcement officer said. A law enforcement source earlier told CNN that Monday's searches were related to an ongoing sex tr investigation. Homeland Security investigators in New York on Monday said that they executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation in cooperation with law enforcement and HSI units in Los Angeles and Miami and would provide further information as it becomes available. Now, Combs representatives have not returned CNN's request for comment on these searches, okay? So, what we gather from that is that since, like I said earlier, since the whole Cassie thing happened, people have been coming out, filing these lawsuits, saying this is what happened to me. You know, we even I did a video about a month ago where a man came out, um, a music producer, a guy in the music industry who came out and said, this is what happened to me with Diddy. He did X, Y, and Z with me. He forced this up on me. And you remember, he even said that Diddy... The guy had, had um, claimed that Diddy had videos of him and Stevie J having sex, and he showed the man these videos. The guy had all sorts of allegations that he came out against on with Diddy, and we did a video about that. If you haven't seen that, go back on my channel, and you can see that there. Um, people have been coming forward ever since Cassie did in November, and, and they're blowing the whistle on what allegedly happened to them. Now, look, you know, there are people who are saying that, oh, this is all a lie. People are trying to tarnish this man's brand because he's a black billionaire and, you know, all these different things. I don't know, y'all. I, I, I think Diddy did this because when there's smoke, there's fire, and there's been smoke for years when it comes to Diddy and those white parties that he throws. What goes down at those parties, allegedly? The freak shows they be having in the basement the alleged coercions and things that they be doing. You know what I'm saying? All these people are not just motherfucking lying. You know what I'm saying? This has been, why don't we hear the same story about Snoop Dogg? Why don't we hear the same motherfucking story about Kevin Hart? Or I don't know anybody. Why aren't they having parties and, and allegedly luring people and, 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 and fucking men, women, girls, boys, everybody in between? We don't hear that. So I don't think everybody's quick to say, oh, they're trying to tear this person down. Well, what if they're not? What if this person really is just an evil person disguised as this entertainer that you've all loved? And they really are doing sick, twisted shit behind the scenes. What if that? What if that? Because we're always quick to not believe the alleged victim. And we're always quick to want to believe the person that's in power or the famous person or the rich person or the pretty person can we look at it from a different lens and try to be objective here and look at the facts and and and, and let it play out and let it play out give diddy his day in court but let's not ignore all these red flags let's not ignore all these smoke signals let's not ignore what people have been alleging and having the same consistent stories for years and years and years. What happened to Kim Porter? Where is Kim Porter, bitch? That's what I want to know. That's what we ain't really talking about when this man allegedly had this woman offed. Where is Kim Porter? Now let's continue with what this CNN report says. As I continue to talk in my reporter voice, reporting live, CNN, I'm Damian Gentry. I'm going to get you these, this, this, the news out here to you, okay? Now, Combs has been accused of sex tra in three separate lawsuits filed in recent months. Allegations the star has repeatedly denied. It is still unclear which allegations are included in the federal probe. Now, in November, Combs settled a suit brought by his former girlfriend, singer Cassandra Cassie Ventura. 
The suit filed in federal court in New York's Southern District alleged that Combs RAPED'd her, forced her to engage in sex, tr and subjected her to years of other abuses. The decision to settle the suit was in no way an admission of wrongdoing. Ben Braffman, an attorney for Combs, told CNN in a statement at the time. Mr. Combs' decision to settle the lawsuit does not in any way undermine his flat-out denial of the claims. He is happy they got to a mutual settlement, and he wishes Ms. Ventura the best. Weeks later, at least two other civil lawsuits were filed in New York against Combs with allegations of sexual including one filed in December in a federal court that also included allegations of sex. Combs said, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation, and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. It's given Bill, Bill Clinton and Monica Lewinsky. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. That's what it's giving me, Diddy. Now, <clears throat> back to my reporter voice. Most recently, one of Combs' former employees, producer and videographer, now I told you all about this one. This is the video I did. Rodney Little Rod Jones, filed a lawsuit last month accusing Combs of sexual and leading a widespread and dangerous criminal sex organization, among other allegations. The suit was filed in federal court in New York's Southern District. Combs' attorney denied the allegations and called Jones' claims lies. Okay. Now, armed law enforcement officers were seen around Combs' residences Monday in Los Angeles and Miami Beach in the exclusive community of Star Island on Miami Beach, mind you. At least one armored law enforcement vehicle was seen arriving at the Los Angeles property and agents were processing paperwork on card tables outside the Miami area home. Miami Command Post vehicles were visible at both properties. So they had car tables set up outside this man's home on laptops doing paper. If they got tables set up at your house, or th and listen, I've been, y'all have heard me tell stories about this. I've been in a few police raids, okay? Growing up, my stepfather sold drugs. I've told this story. My doors were beat down by police numerous times. You're woken up, guns to your head, get up. Everybody, it's it's traumatizing, right? So traumatizing. But ain't nobody ever had tables set up. Diddy got, Diddy doing some shit, okay? This rabbit hole goes deep. Some shit is gonna come out. They had tables set up outside the motherfucking homes like it was a goddamn crime scene investigation like somebody had been m-u-r-d-e-r'd okay if they got tables set up outside your if if your home ever gets raided and they got motherfucking tables set up outside your house bitch with computers and they tablets and they doing paperwork and and, and processing shit it's not good Now, the activity at the Star Island property was a search warrant execution, a Homeland Security Investigations representative in Miami told CNN. So they were issuing a search warrant. They're wanting to go in his house. They're wanting to go through all his property. They're wanting to go through the phones, the tablets, the computers, the electronic devices. Is there any incriminating video? Is there any incriminating photos? Are there text messages that can incriminate? I think, can they go through his text messages? I think so, yeah. They're looking for things that, that could lead them to believe that there is, in fact, a sex operation going on, right? HSI, the Department of Homeland Security's lead investigation arm, is responsible for investigating transnational crimes and threats, including human, 
It is also handling cases of terror, narcotics, smuggling, and other organized criminal activity. HSI investigators departed the Star Island home outside Miami just before 11 p.m. Monday. Now, that was just a couple hours ago because it's like, well, it's 4 a.m. here where I'm at now filming this. So, this was like 4 or 5, four or five hours. I'm filming this video now. The Homeland Security agent just left his Miami home six hours ago. Like, this shit is serious. They've been in his house all day. They've been ransacking his shit. They've been searching his shit. And meanwhile, the folks is saying that um, Diddy allegedly was trying to flee the country and go to Anguilla. Anguilla, Anguilla, however you say it. Oh, and here's another thing, too, that I failed to mention about the raid. Y'all know we always talked about Diddy's light-skinned son, the one that's not biologically his, his stepson, and we always wondered why the stepson was so loyal to him, even when the stepson has spoken out against Diddy and spoken out against this man and how awful he is and how he's, you know, hinted around at Diddy doing something to Kim Porter and this young man, I don't know if it's Justin Combs or I forget what his name is, one of the Combs sons, the light-skinned one that's not Diddy's biological son. He's had all this loyalty to Diddy for so long and not his biological father, and it makes us wonder why. Well, Diddy's two sons, Justin and this young man I'm talking about, Sean Diddy Combs Jr., and let me, hold on, let me make sure I'm talking about the right one. No, yeah, Justin. So Justin Combs and Sean Diddy Combs Jr., they were seen in cuffs. They were apprehended. Now, I don't know if they were arrested, charged. I don't think so because we've seen no mug shots. But they were apprehended. Both of the sons were. And Justin, I've always looked at you side-eye because you've always had Diddy's back and he's not your biological father and you've never had your biological father's back from what we've seen. And we wonder why. And it makes me think, are you in on some of this shit that Diddy's on? Are you in on some of this freaky dicky illegal shit they doing now in their defense maybe they were apprehended and put in cuffs because they were in the home as it was being raided because usually any adults that are in the home when a home is being raided you're apprehended until the search warrant is over right Justin and Christian Combs. They were both spotted in handcuffs. Diddy was never spotted in handcuffs. They say he allegedly fled. He hit, got in his private jet and tried to go to Anguilla. Allegedly. Allegedly, right? Now, this was according to page six. Page six says that Sean Diddy Combs' private jet landed in the Caribbean while his homes were being raided by the feds. Because reportedly, his jet was on the ground in the Caribbean while Homeland Security raided several of his properties in the States. Now, TMZ tracked Diddy's jet, because you can track jets online. And they tracked his black Gulfstream 5, known as Love Air LLC, to Antigua Monday afternoon. Antigua, Monday afternoon. Per the outlet, the plane left the Los Angeles area around 9 a.m. Monday morning and headed straight for the Caribbean. It's unclear who was on board, but since TMZ later obtained a video of the rapper outside the Miami Opelika Executive Airport just after the raids, he couldn't have been on his private jet. So he wasn't on the jet. People were suspecting that he had fled but apparently he wasn't on this jet. I don't understand why his jet is not is out of the country if he's not on it. I don't know. Um, but according to NBC News, Homeland Security officials seized phones from Combs at the airport before he was scheduled to board a different jet and fly to the Bahamas for vacation. So apparently Diddy was at this airport in Miami, in Opelika, at this airport getting ready to fly to the Bahamas. Meanwhile, they're getting ready to raid his home. They stop him at the Opelika airport, 
sees his phones. Now, we've seen no arrests. We've heard of no arrests. We've heard of no charges. We've seen no mugshot. So maybe he's in the clear so far. I'm hoping for the best for him. I hope a lot of this shit's not true. I would hate to see his legacy be torn down. Do I think that his legacy is going to be torn away and he's going to be arrested? Yeah, I think some shit's going to go down. Maybe he's got enough money to make it go away. I don't know. Um, but I do think it's odd that they raided his home and nobody was arrested. Nothing's happened. We've heard nothing. Now, law enforcement sources didn't reveal if Diddy still went on the trip after he was stopped at that airport and his phone was seized. Um, his reps have not responded to anything. You know, they've given no comments to any of um, the requests for comment. They haven't responded to anything at all. You know, there were dogs there. Um, agents at both properties fully armed taking several men out of the homes in handcuffs. Um, and Justin and Christian Combs appeared to be two of the people, like I said, they were being questioned by the cops. Diddy was not there. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see what happened. It does make me wonder what footage does the police, does the police have any incriminating footage that prompted this search warrant? Because they have, the, the, the feds have to have probable cause to be do, running up in your house. You have to get a search warrant by a judge to be able to run up in somebody's house. The judge has to say, give me enough proof for you as the police to run in somebody's home, right? So they had something to tip them off to go into these people's homes. And it can't just be he said, she said, I'm coming to file a lawsuit, right? And if you think about it, the video that we talked about where the music producer came out and spoke out against Diddy, he said while working for Diddy from September 22 to, to November 2023, Jones, that was his name, Rodney Jones, claimed that he recorded hours of video and audio of Combs and his staff engaging in serious illegal activity, such as allegedly throwing drug rampant parties with underage girls and sex workers. So this man is claiming he has hours and hours of footage of things that he witnessed and saw while working for P. Diddy for this year or two or whatever. So have people, do people have footage? Do people have incriminating evidence that they've turned forward and that has resulted in this raid? And maybe they're just collecting everything they can get before they want to stick the charges. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Look, it don't look good for Diddy. And I'd rather be anybody in the world right now than Sean P. Diddy Combs. Okay? You can take all his money. All money and good money, baby. And that's all dirty money over there. Diddy Dirty Money. Remember that? They wouldn't play in when they called it Diddy Dirty Money. Because that money is dirty over there. That's a prime example of being rich and miserable. Diddy is the prime example of being rich, miserable, unhappy, because he's probably miserable right now in his dark hole. Ca caught up in a dark hole, just miserable. Anyway, you do the crime, you do the time, child. Leave me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, 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 so you never miss a beat, baby. And hit that thumbs up button and like this video. That helps me get into the algorithm so more beautiful people like yourself can find me here. And if you want to donate to the Damien After Dark movement, help me get a new set, new microphone, lights, all that stuff, in the description box below will be ways that you can donate using PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, and Zelle. I'll also post my Amazon wish list down there. If you leave a super chat, please be mindful that YouTube does take 50% of the money that you tip us creators through super chats. Okay? I love you guys so much for watching. Don't forget that you're so special. You're loved. You're important. You're meant to be here. There's a reason you woke up today. Remember that, okay? Follow your dreams. Follow your heart. Don't give up. And remember, somebody loves you. I love you. Okay? Sending you all my love. Thank you guys. We'll see you next time on Damien After Dark.